Hello everyone, welcome to the official channel of Baikon Industry. In today's episode, we are going to introduce our Fitch 1620 cardio motor and drill rig. Our DMP 162 cardio model has two models, one with D handle and the other with P handle. Okay, first of all, let's open the box and check what's inside. The maintenance manual and the instruction manual. Carbon brushes. Anti-friction ring. That's the extraction connector. Water tube connector. Handle. Latches. Ear plugs. Now, let's look at the machine itself. The model case of DMP162 is made of AZ91D mechanism alloy with excellent corrosion resistance while still remain lightweighted. It has a 3 gear speed. to better fit a different diameter driven tasks. This is the dust extraction connector. This is the water tube connector. Both connectors are quick attached type. For example, you can throw on the dust extraction connector for dry drilling. See, it's very easy and convenient. Here comes with one of the best features that I really like. That is the smart alarming system. Which consists of smart protection mechanism built in the machine. And the two LED indicators on top of the machine. When a motor is working under overheat condition, the yellow indicator will blink. When a motor is working under overload condition, the red indicator will blink. When both LED indicators blink, it tells you you need to replace the carbon brush, which is on top on, on both sides of the machine. Here you can see the black gap of the carbon brush. You can use proper tools like the flat screwdriver to open the gap easily. Most importantly, you don't even need to open the model case to replace the carbon brushes. And remember, Always replace the carbon brush as a pair. Now let's take a look at how to fix the diamond core bit. Let's take out the anti-friction ring. It can help you to remove the diamond core bit easily. The DNP162 corn motor is not only a wet and dry handheld drilling machine, but it is also compatible with drilling rig. When using drilling rig, the reinforced concrete drilling diameter can be 162 mm with multiple layers of rebar in it. Okay, now let's take a look at the drilling rig.
you could adjust the leveling bolt using the wonderful oil crank to achieve a good level positioning of the rig base. And don't forget to tighten the lock nut after adjusting the leveling bolt. You could also use the crank to loosen the clamp bolt to adjust the angle of color. It makes the angle drilling possible on every bicone drilling rig. Now, let's loosen the nut on the clamp bracket using the same crank so you, we can put the drill motor in. Make sure the lock nut is fully tightened. Then we need to adjust the cradle lock bolts on both sides of the carriage. Be sure the mounting spacer is fully clamped. Forgot to mention, DMP162's spinal has two threads. One and one fourth inch UMC outside, and one second inch BSP inside. Most of your bits on the market can fit on the machine without a problem. After fixing the drill bit on, unlock the leverage lock on the carriage, and now you are good to go. Okay, if you liked this content, please leave a comment, give us a like. Don't forget to subscribe our channel for more. Thanks for watching, stay tuned, and this is Major signing off.